So now let's talk about creating indexes. <clears throat> now, you will create an index if we want to speed up searching in a database. Key thing here, by the way, indexes are going to have positives and negatives. Number one, if you're indexed, you index something because you want to be able to search on it faster. So that's great. So in a large database with really large tables, indexes can really improve query performance. Downside is that indexes have to be maintained. So every time you do something to the database, you add data, you change data, something like that, that index is going to have to be maintained, which means the database engine is going to have to spend a little time making sure that that stays up to date. So you can over-index a database to such an extent that it actually becomes more of a challenge to try to maintain the indexes than the benefit you get from actually using them. The other downside to an index, by the way, is it occupies storage space. It doesn't, I mean, you don't have to put in an index, which means you don't have to do store, uh, allocate storage space to it. But if you're going to do one, it does have to be stored. Okay, so let's say we have decided that we want to improve performance on our database. Some of these things are taking a little bit too long, so we do want to do this. So we want to add an index. Now you'll notice here I have on my country table, my code is a primary key. And being primary key, all primary keys are automatically indexed. So cool, that's great. Uh, let's say I wanted to add another index, though, on the country name, just for the fun of it. Doesn't mean it makes sense, but we're going to do it anyway, just so you can show how it, uh, how it works. So you can see how it works. So we're going to do create index, and then we're going to give the index uh, a name. So I'm going to say the index is going to be named country name. And then I'm going to specify which table it's on. So it's on the country table. And then I'm going to specify the column that I want it to be on. So this is going to create an index named country name on the uh, table column or the table country and the name column. So it helps if I select use world first, doesn't it? All right, let's try this again. Use world, create an index. So now in my... Uh, world table here, if I go to a world database, if I go to my country table and indexes, you're going to see that I have to refresh this in order for you to see it. You're going to see that we now have an additional index. Okay, great. That's all it takes to create the index. Now, from this point on, that index is going to be maintained by the database. And I'm going to use a little space to store it. And uh, it's going to have to be maintained, but it'll also be used when I query. So if I do a queries based on country name on a regular basis, that's actually going to help me out. Now, there's another type of index that we can create too, and that's a unique index. Now, a unique index is going to be, let me go back to our ER diagram, it's going to be a value that can't be duplicated. So by default, the primary key is always a unique index. So if I wanted to do, let's say, code 2 here, let me show you what's actually in that. So I'm going to add a new, and I'm going to select, uh, let's do the code, the name, and the code 2 from country. And then here we'll see our three-digit code, the company or country name, and the two-digit code, and we'll see that's what that is. Now, that should be unique on everything. So we can create a unique index. And this is going to function like an index in that it's going to speed up searching. But the other thing it's going to do is make sure that we don't have two values there. So I'm going to create a unique index called country code 2 on the country table using the code 2 field. And execute. And now when I refresh this, we're going to see we have a country code 2 here index as well. And so you'll see this is a B tree. It's unique. It's visible. And it's based on the column code 2. The country name you'll see is B tree. It's not unique. It is visible. So what happens if I actually try to make a change that would violate that? Let's actually come over here. 
And I want to, let's find the two-digit code for the UK. So select code name and code two from country where, code, let's see if we can find code two. I think my two-digit code is going to be UK for the United Kingdom. Let's see here. Nope, it is not. So let's do where name equals, and it actually might be Great Britain. And let's see if I can spell Great Britain correctly. Actually, let's do this. Let's do where code equals GBR, because I think that's the three-digit code. Okay, there we go. Yes, ah, that's what threw me. The code is GBR. The name is United Kingdom. Code 2 is GB. So here's what I want to do. I want to change this to where code 2 is UK. So I'm going to do update country. I am going to set code 2 equals... UK, where code equals GBR. And let me execute that. And that changed it. Okay. Let's say a little bit later on, we come back and we're looking at another country. So let's do select code name code two from country where name equals the Ukraine. And there we find it. Now let's say I wanted to change this one to be UK as well. So here's what we would have. We would do an update uh, country set code two equals UK where name equals Ukraine. And now when we execute it, you see we have an error here. Update country code, where name, error code, duplicate entry UK for country key. So this duplicate key or duplicate entry for key means we have a violation to our index. Because I created that as a unique index, it requires that every value be unique. And because I've already got a UK in, now I run into this problem where I can't have two things named UK in the same index. The country name, I'd be fine doing that because that's not a unique index. In fact, we see that right here. But that unique index does block updates that would violate the indexing information. Okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can set up indexes in your database.